Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Buckle up as we take a detour from the fast lane of electrification. The government's initial plan for rapid electrification has hit a speed bump. Now, they're shifting gears towards a more diverse approach to sustainability, with a renewed focus on hybrids and other green technologies. But the EV market is currently like a car with a flat tire. Let's dive into eight unprecedented trends in the EV market. Trend number eight, the EV acceleration has hit the brakes. This is a trend we haven't seen in a while. For years, the EV market was on a fast track, with year-over-year -year growth consistently hitting at least 90%. This impressive growth trajectory, which formed the basis of the Biden administration's electrification plan, seemed set to continue. However, the landscape shifted dramatically. After a series of prosperous years, the latter half of 2023 saw a significant dip in growth, ending the year with a 50% market increase. While this is still commendable growth, the arrival of January brought a mere 15% year-over-year growth, signaling a substantial slowdown in the EV market. Even the most optimistic forecasts aren't particularly promising, suggesting that this year's growth could peak at around 30%. The numbers will likely be lower, reaffirming that once the early adopter phase concludes, automakers struggle to appeal to the average middle-class consumer. Trend number seven, market oversupply. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, the auto industry has been grappling with a disrupted supply chain. The production of cars, including EVs, was hampered by a persistent semiconductor shortage. Meanwhile, the demand for EVs was soaring, fueled by early adopters. However, the tables have turned. The market has stabilized, production has ramped up, but demand has dwindled. Sources indicate that the supply is now a staggering 500% higher than just a year ago. Given the recent slowdown in growth, it's no surprise that the market is oversaturated. EVs are accumulating at dealerships as manufacturers reduce production to clear existing stock. The situation has led to most EV makers offering substantial discounts to shift their inventory. Tesla initiated this trend, with others like Ford following suit, offering discounts of up to $14,000. Trend number six, Biden's plan has stalled. For the first time since the inception of EVs, optimism towards electrification is dwindling across the board, including within government circles. The Biden administration initially aimed for rapid electrification, with the EPA proposing stringent emission rules that would result in two-thirds of new cars being all-electric by 2032. However, with the near-stagnant growth, this plan was deemed unrealistic. The EPA has since revised its proposal, easing emission rules and aiming for just one-third of new cars to be electrified by 2032, likely including both electric and hybrid vehicles. Significantly, the new proposal allows pickup trucks to remain powered by gas and diesel for an extended period, underscoring the current superiority of internal combustion pickups over their electric counterparts. We'll delve into this in more detail shortly. Trend number five, dealers are steering clear of EVs. There was a time when dealers reveled in the high demand for EVs and the disrupted supply chain. Those were the days of substantial markups and record profits. However, the tide has turned. The current oversupply has led to a glut of EVs at dealerships, making them harder to sell. Massive discounts have replaced markups. Take Baxter Auto Group in Nebraska, for instance. This dealership, which boasts over 20 locations, managed to sell a mere 25 all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning models in 2023, despite having over 200 refundable orders at launch. Currently, they have 12 electric pickups in stock, and given the current market dynamics, it will likely take them at least six months to clear this inventory. But that's not the end of it. Companies like Ford and GM are pressuring dealers to invest heavily in EV infrastructure and staff training. Understandably, most dealers are reluctant to participate in this EV eligibility program, preferring to stick with internal combustion vehicles. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore trend number four, Ford and GM are on the verge of breakdown. Ford and GM, in their bid to rival Tesla, invested heavily in EVs. However, turning a profit on EVs remains elusive for everyone except Tesla. Consequently, both Ford and GM are incurring losses on every EV sold. Ford, for instance, lost over $36,000 on each F-150 Lightning sold last year, amounting to a total loss of over $5 billion. GM, facing similar challenges, resorted to buying back shares to placate investors. 
The ongoing market slowdown has forced both companies to defer planned EV investments. Ford has delayed $12 billion in investments and halved the production of the F-150 Lightning. GM, on the other hand, has postponed the production of the all-electric Silverado until the end of 2025. Trend number three, Tesla's smooth ride hits a bump. Tesla, the only automaker currently profiting from EVs and the leading EV seller in North America and much of the world, has hit a rough patch. Its status as the world's most valuable automotive company hasn't shielded it from the broader challenges facing the EV industry. The recent slowdown, coupled with hefty discounts and technological hiccups, has seen Tesla's shares take a hit. In the first week of March alone, the shares fell by 7.2%, culminating in a significant 24% drop in the first quarter of 2024. While the situation isn't critical, this trend underscores that even Tesla isn't immune to the difficulties currently plaguing the EV sector. Trend number two, electric pickups, a distant dream. The current market trends suggest that electric pickups might take several decades to replace their gas and diesel counterparts. Almost every electric pickup manufacturer is experiencing a decline in sales. Rivian and its R1T model saw a 14% drop last year, followed by a 43% drop in January. Ford, on the other hand, halved the production of the F-150 Lightning, while GM has postponed the mass production of the Silverado and Sierra electric pickups until the end of 2025. The reality is that electric pickups are still trailing behind their traditional ICE counterparts. Limited range, reduced towing capacity, and high MSRP are compelling reasons to stick with traditional designs. Recent research has shown that these battery electric trucks significantly underperform when it comes to heavy-duty tasks. Whether it's towing, hauling, or off-roading, the maximum range drops significantly. Tests conducted on the F-150 Lightning showed that the max range can drop by a third with a decent payload. Motor Trend proved that with a 7,000-pound trailer, this pickup can barely make 90 miles on a full charge. Trend number one, EV technology, still in its infancy. We've been hearing about the blistering acceleration and high-tech features of EVs for years. However, the real-world experience paints a different picture. EVs still have a long way to go before they can compete with gas-powered cars in many aspects. They lack autonomy and convenience, are expensive, and quite unreliable. Considering these factors, it's not surprising that a recent survey from Boston Consulting Group revealed that only 40% of consumers would consider buying an EV. Even this group has high expectations that most car makers can't meet at the moment. They want a $50,000 EV that can cover at least 300 miles and recharge in 20 minutes. Currently, there's only one EV that meets all these criteria, indicating that EV technology still needs to be perfected. It will likely take many more years before the middle class fully embraces this new mode of mobility. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest in auto. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay updated on the next vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you on the next ride.